So, meet Jake. This is Jake. He's 12 weeks old. He's going to get a bit bigger than he is now. We're just going to take him for a little walk in a dog's life carrier, and if he's lucky, a motorbike ride. So to put this on, you simply put the legs through the upper and lower holes. There we go. It's a bit odd when it's their first time, obviously. They've not been, especially for a puppy. But the idea is obviously just to coax, it, to coax their legs through, talk to them gently. They've no idea what you're doing. Then, oh, got it mixed up, Jake. I've got it all mixed up. There we go. So, put their arms through the top holes, legs through the bottom, and then turn them onto their backs to do up the Velcro and to make it nice and snug around their legs. The Velcro adjusting is simple. Just put it on lightly first, just to make sure you've got everything in the right position. The dog's not, it's not too tight, not too snug. Once you get him in, you adjust their arms so that it's nice and comfortable on their shoulders and make sure their knees are through. Your knees through? Yeah. And then, if you stand up, you've got strong, Wadding, sorry, strong webbing straps. Put them on your front. They're also adjustable, so you can have them as tight or as loose as you like. There we go. It's easier with two, of course. But now he's fully supported, as you can see. It's not too tight on him. His, both his, his front and his back legs can move. He's looking at the water, and then. You go for a little walk. Yeah. Is that nice? What do you think? You don't need to use your hands at all. He's completely supported in a comfortable position. The 100% cotton quilted fabric makes him feel supported, so he's not afraid he's going to fall. And then you've got your hands free to either deal with the children or perhaps deal with other dogs if you've got them. A lot of people are buying these because they've got older dogs and younger dogs who don't all have the same exercise needs. Then, when you're walking, it's generally nicer to have him on your front because you can make sure that he's happy, he's looking around, he feels closer to you because he can look back at you. But perhaps if you're going on a motorbike or cycling, you don't want the wind in his eyes, you can turn it around, I'm going to extend it a little bit, and put him on your back, just like you would a baby. You can have him facing your neck on your back or facing outwards. You'd have to turn him round in the carrier, obviously, if you wanted him facing your neck. But what you do is you support him while you put one shoulder strap on. Come round. All right, Jake. And then put the other shoulder strap on. Make sure you've got the length where you want it. Again, he's well supported. Happy, I hope. I can't see him. But I'm sure he'd tell me if he wasn't. And then, again, you can go for a walk with him. Or cycling, so you can sit on the back and you can see the world go by. Or to the shops if you need your hands free. You can even, of course, if you've got a baby and a puppy, you must be very tired, but if you've got a baby and a puppy, you can have the puppy on your back and the baby on your front. And these are also ideal for motorcycling, because obviously many people would like to take their dog on a motorcycle, but except in Asian countries it can seem a bit dangerous. But on here, you can easily come with us on the motorbike.